Hey friends, it's Karamo Brown here. If there is one thing I've learned from traveling with the Fab Five on Netflix's Queer Eye is that LGBT people can time travel just by crossing borders and see life from decades ago in the fight for our human rights. That's why I'm working with Outright Action International and The Advocate to bring you Worldview. Let's jump back to 1998, the year Matthew Shepard was beaten, tortured, and left to die in Wyoming for being gay. That violence is still happening. According to the Anti-Violence Project, in 2017, 52 people were murdered for being queer. That's more people killed in any year since we lost Matthew. In many places in the world, it's unfortunately still 1998. Russia is one of those places. In 2017, over 100 citizens were abducted and tortured by the Chechnya government for being perceived as queer. The Russian government have yet to investigate into those matters. And what makes it even worse is those who have committed these crimes have done so without any consequences. Why? Because often the people who are supposed to protect us, like police or politicians, are the predators. Many countries have made being gay or trans a crime. We're treated like criminals just for being ourselves. We can go back even further to 1873, a time when South Carolina law decided that being gay was a crime punishable by death. Today, you can visit the 1800s just by traveling to one of the eight nations where that is still the case. Or stop by the 72 countries where acting on same-sex desired is still outlawed. One of those places is Qatar. Don't let the desert skyscrapers or the infinity pools fool you. In places where sodomy isn't officially illegal, there are other laws on the books that criminalize LGBT people. Some of these laws are religious and others just straight up outlaw cross-dressing. So basically in Malaysia, RuPaul's Drag Race is a true crime show. It's not just states that commit this violence. There's also other groups like ISIS that brutally target LGBT people. Since 2014, ISIS has allegedly killed over 40 men who were just perceived for being gay. LGBT people have targets on our backs every day. Regardless of the time or place, there is one thing that queer people around the world do have in common. That's resilience. We look hatred in the eye and demand that every neighborhood around the world is a safe place to call home. In every country, LGBT activists are raising their voices. In this series, we will be introducing you to the resilient people around the world in every time zone who are building a better future. If you want global equality, please share this video.